In this video, we look at the supply demand balance for the major metals this year. Silver is expected to enter its fifth year of a major deficit, although this will contract from 2024. Platinum is forecast to have a third year of deficit with a level almost exactly the same as last year. Copper is estimated to have its largest deficit in five years in 2025, reversing from a surplus, although both of these are small versus total production. Similar to copper, aluminum's deficit is expected to expand considerably in 2025 to the highest since 2021, but this is also not very large versus the overall output. After the market was nearly balanced in 2024, nickel is expected to see a reasonably large surplus versus total industry production. The zinc market is forecast to have its third year of surplus, nearly doubling from 2024, although just a third the level of 2023. There is expected to be a substantial lithium surplus for 2025, up for the third consecutive year. Uranium is estimated to have a deficit in 2025, similar to recent years, but this is based only on primary supply, including secondary supply this would be much smaller. Looking at the market balance versus total supply for the metals overall shows a roughly even split between the substantial surpluses for lithium, nickel, and zinc, the relatively balanced copper and aluminum markets, and large deficits for platinum, silver, and uranium. For more information on the metals and mining stocks, click the link in the description or bio below to go to www.canadianminingreport.com. Canadian Mining Report is not a financial advisor. This video is for informational purposes only and does not constitute investment advice.